my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen this is the first time that you see me thank you so much for stopping by my return subscribers i love you you see this protest that is happening at home is bringing a lot it's bringing a lot out i am seeing a lot of good good things that is coming out of this if nothing has happened nigerians have finally finally figured that they have finally figured that the people that there is their problem is the politicians what made it possible is this protest one of the things that happened that blew my mind is because muslims they 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 pray when it's time for them to pray it does not matter they stay wherever they are and pray so one of the days that it was time for them to pray they all got down and started praying guess what happened christians surrounded them christians surrounded them to let them know we got your back you are our brother you are our sister nobody none of these people can can mess us up again nobody can do it we finally know the truth of of what they are doing to us all these years i saw a very sad sad uh video from <clears throat> from the north the same way that they took them out to come and vote for them whether they are two years old or one year old they trooped out oh my god i wish everywhere trooped out the same way they're not and the police and army people were just shooting at, at them just just deleting them right in front of us it's like okay let this protest let's see what is going to happen to this protest but one of the things that has happened in this that made me so happy is that some Yoruba people that they have always used to put head to head between Igbo and Yoruba, they came out and they told politicians to go and F yourself. Igbo person is not your problem. Igbo, Igbo is not the problem of Yoruba. You are. And when I saw that, I... I, I the thing melted my my, my 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 heart because i know that i know that a, a a yoruba person is not a problem to Igbo. Igbo is not a problem to yoruba we are all nigerians that want to make our country a great country that's what all of us are uh, even all of us that are out we all come home we all send money home to build our country doesn't matter where you're from yoruba i will say Igbo they think that they can continue to do it but finally nigerians have finally until i saw another video hey i saw another video where they said it in english they said it in Igbo. they said it in Aosa. they said it in yoruba i say Ngwana, politicians are crying politicians are crying they're not gonna use my brothers anymore for for, for <laughs> hey god the thing really made me so happy mm -hmm. after the politicians see this one eh hey they will say my god my god Akpabio will not be laughing at us now when they are talking about minimum wage if i've changed my mind On minimum wage. <laughs> He's looking at me with we walk I high. <laughs> Nothing but that but minimum wages. We're gonna do it. What Nigeria can afford? What you can afford? What I can afford? They ask you to cut your coat according to your size. If you have size at all. You will sit down and laugh with a... a and laugh. Just laugh. At Nigerians. And then during this protest, he laughed too. Say, okay, make one go. Make one go and do protests as we sit down here and chop. Is it not true? So, when I saw this video... I said I must bring nothing will make me not bring it. So please watch where Nigerians are finally united to know where their problems are coming from. There's so, uh, there's another uh, detailed video about where Yoruba came out and said, eh, 
if we hear you guys talk about Igbo again, eh? Don't talk about what Leave Igbo people alone. They are not our problem. You guys made them our problem, and by this time, our eyes are open. I say, here we go. Is it not true? It's happening. It's happening. So watch this where one where they spoke in all the languages and send it to all the politicians in your in your place and let them know their eyes are open they are not listening to you anymore they are seeing clear i can see clearly now the rain is gone i'm telling you the obstacle has fallen out whatever it is that they use in nigerians nigerians have finally figured out that Rebo people don't get light they don't get Nigerians have finally figured out that the road where everybody goes, no good. Nigerians are finding out that the hospital, they're no good for Igbo, they're no good for Yoruba, they're no good for Aosa. Nigerians have finally figured out that these people on, in the north, that they are using them. They are using them for election. And now they are saying no to all the politicians. They are even calling the army. The northern house are calling the army. Say, I beg, come and take over. We don't want Tinubu anymore. So what is that telling you? So my people, just watch where my brothers connected together and spoke in different languages. And after speaking, it is a one language. From me to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. We are here to protest against bad governance yes. in Nigeria. Yes. We have had enough. Enough is enough. Yes. The country is bleeding. All of us who are here today are here today because we are patriotic. We are here today because we love our country deeply. We cannot allow this country to go down the trains. And so we have come out. I got here by 7 a.m. and I saw several persons as early as 7 a.m. here to protest. Some went down to the um, peace park. Some came down here, but we all came here for a single reason, and that is to protest against bad governance. The bleeding is too much. The hunger is too much. The hardship is too much. Yet, we have our politicians from the presidency to the National Assembly, to the state governors, to the members of the House of Assembly. We see them living large. Enough is enough. We cannot continue like this. We urge the government at all levels, not just the federal government, we also urge the states at all levels to do something about the hardship in this country. Chicken, and can't get chicken, but she's like a gun and I think 